Hello everyone. So today we're gonna play with the analog pocket. We'll show you the different options, what we can do with it, play with different cartridge. So let's start with the first one. Super Mario Land 2. So to start the analog pocket, that's quite easy. You just use the button on the left it wakes up and asks you to put a cartridge in it old school style and I run it The screen is so beautiful. Okay, I'm dead. <clears throat> so let's jump to something else. So when you play a cartridge like this, you can come back to this or use the safe states. I show that uh, in a previous video. Um, the idea for me now is to show you the different options we, we have in it. Um, so library allows you to modify things. I will not spend time on this right now. Open FPGA if you have updated the analog pocket with the last the latest firmware, you can play different uh, games uh, once again you need to have the games otherwise it's forbidden to use them but if you're lucky enough to have them then you can play uh, anything you want uh, into into it so for instance I have my Tetris game there. I can play it with the cartridge or the directly with the open FPGA like that. Something fun. Um, it's still up and running, but if I want, as you can see, I can remove the cartridge without turning off. That's funny. So same thing, I can play, so Tetris, nothing new, nothing you don't know. The problem when you use the FPGA is that you can't use the filters that are included here. That's not a big issue, but that's the difference with the Open FPGA approach and the cartridge one. Let me show you the difference. If I take the cartridge now, I put it at the back. And I quit the FPGA. I can now play the cartridge, which we use this one this time. And now, same game another approach. You see first that the screen is a little bit different. Uh, the colors that are used are slightly different. And I can change them by using the analog button plus left and right. Like this. Or like that. If I have the choice, I prefer this one. This one is the best, probably. If I go to the settings and I want to change the way 
the Game Boy is displayed, I can play with the video here and change the display mode. So that's exactly the same thing, but you're not using the shortcut, you're just modifying manually. I hate this red one, <laughs> honestly, I don't know who, who's using it. Um, and the color palette uh, can be used as well uh, if you use the default analog one. Uh, I'm not a big fan personally, but uh, choose the one you prefer. Uh, frame blending, I will not spend time on these, but um, quickly, just if you have the sprites that are disappearing, um, if it's transparent or you have some issues, you can use the frame blending on that. Let's come back to the game. All right, so, same game, same player, play again. Nothing complicated. And still the same thing, if I want to use the memories, the safe states, I can use the safe state. So typically this one is from yesterday. I can just load it and I'm immediately coming back to the safe state. I love it. So let's quit the cartridge. That's done. No need to turn off. You can just remove it as it is. So quick. And we will use another one. I don't know if you know that game. Um, it's, uh, it's not that famous, it's, uh, it's a small guy trying to do things on an island. Let's try it. And let's play the cartridge. I have some issues sometimes with that, yes. I have this issue sometimes, I don't know why it's coming. Um, so I need to quit. I need to take it back. exactly like my old Game Boy, I love it. Uh, so I can start from zero or I can use the memories I had put there. I had to start again, uh, a game from scratch. Uh, so I prefer to use that one. I load and I'm immediately coming to this stage. And that's so easy to play a game and to continue like that because you can stop anywhere you want, anytime you want. It's just very easy. Um, so to come back to the safe states, another button, memories, and you can come back to it. If you want to save instantly, you push this button, another button, plus up, quick, saved. Save state, and I have a third one now. That's so easy when you do that. So you have a limited number of slots. I think it's, if I'm correct, uh, 128. Uh, but before reaching 128, you'll, you'll probably can improve a lot of things before and remove some of them. Uh, let's try another one. We'll quit this one. No need to shut it down, always the same magic. All right, Super Mario Land. Always the same thing, you put it back, there you launch the cartridge and it works like a charm. Now I will start again from this position and immediately I'm starting exactly either right state. that you cannot come back in the first version. Oh.
So let's finish the level. Got it. So once you have finished the first level, always the same thing, you cannot save. You cannot save it because there's no battery in it. So you cannot save it. And that's, that's a real issue. So what you will do is just to save the state. Now I can shut it down and I will just start tomorrow to this stage. Um, so one, two, and I can move forward every day like this without having to use a battery integrated into the cartridge because there's no one. And that's done. I hope you love this video. Um, just to show you the basic things. Um, it's really what was missing in my view when I, I acquired this uh, this console before acquiring it because I was very curious how it works, what can be done, what cannot be done. Um, so now you know not everything, but that's a very, 